Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, uh, we just got some of the new data from the 4680 Model Y on the battery capacity. Uh, so just want to go over that. And again, this data is from the Tessie app. Uh, so I will link uh, a link at the, I guess, in the description of this video for that. Uh, but pretty interesting, and it does kind of confirm what we've been speculating about the battery capacity. All right, guys, so real quick, uh, Tessie is a super popular app uh, for, for Tesla owners. Uh, Tessie and also Tesla Fi seem to be the two most popular apps. Um, so back in 2019 when I had my Model 3, we didn't have all these options. They weren't as, you know, up to date and cool as they are now. So it's really cool to kind of see what the latest and greatest is. But super cool app in the App Store. Um, the first two weeks are free which is what I'm doing, and I'll probably, I don't know if I'm gonna cancel after that, but we'll see. Um, but it just kind of has some really cool interfaces and it shows you uh, more detailed data about the Model Y, and it also lets you do some more uh, customized, like cool things that the regular test lab doesn't do. So pretty cool on that. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the, the battery drain information, uh, I've seen s most of the reviews in the Google Store are super, super high, uh, but I have seen like one or two comments of people saying like, hey, there's more phantom drain. And then the Tessie app, people respond that, hey, it doesn't cause any phantom drain. So I don't know what the truth is exactly. Um, I've only had this installed for, I think, like three days now uh, just to collect some data. Uh, but yeah, so far, so good. All right, guys, so here's what you uh, clicked for. So again, uh, as you can see, the usable battery that it's showing on the app uh, is 67.1 kilowatts. So 67.1 kilowatts, um, but it does show that there is 67.5 um, on the other screen. So, I mean, that's pretty much what we thought uh, after doing the math. Again, we've done two supercharging uh, test, and those both gave us, one gave us 61 kilowatts, and one gave us 60 kilowatts. Uh, one of them we went from 4% to 90%, and the other one we went from 9% to 97%. So that gave us the 60, 61 and 60 kilowatts. Um, so after we're doing the math, we were you know guessing that it was gonna be you know, in that ballpark of like 65, but it's showing up 67 and that's uh, scanning the, the data that the app does. And, and you know, so yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. Again, this is still just the usable battery. So we will notate that that's just the usable battery. Um, but that's what we have to go by. So again, there's a lot of speculation that there's more battery there, but again, that is not confirmed. We're just going to talk about what is confirmed, and that's what we've observed, and also what the Tessie app is confirming. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful, guys. Um, I do think that when making the decision, um, don't make the decision based off of speculation of future uh, improvements, because I mean, it's possible, but it's still speculation. Make the decision if you want to go for this based off of what's confirmed, which is the 279 miles. Um, I think Tessie shows a real world, whatever, I think depending on my last 30 miles driving, it shows it that by real world range isn't the 279, it's gonna be more like, the I think this is like 221-ish, something like that, I'll put the screenshot down there. But again, make your decision if you wanna get this vehicle um, off of your driving habits, uh, your needs for your family. Um, um, but also I, I would say that Think about holistically, right? So, so for us in the DFW area, uh, we're not driving more than 100 miles a day, you know, nine times out of 10. Well, I mean, like 99 times out of 100. Uh, we take maybe five or six, I mean, we take maybe six trips to Houston a year and one trip to Florida. So that is the, it's not the majority. That's like the rare occasion that we do that. So for us, this vehicle is going to you know pretty much do what we need it to be what we need it to happen right so um, again I don't want to go on any little rant but I, once again I will say that um, you know buy off of what's confirmed not what's speculated even though I think there's really good evidence that there's more capacity that's unlocked but again we will show that Tessie is confirming what we thought anyways guys thank you for watching this quick video about the Tessie app and the results and the confirmation of the battery size hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. If you want to see more videos like this, sub to the channel. Thanks a lot and have a great day.